Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Starkey Farmstead. My name is Samantha. Quick topic before I leave for Children's Church. I have seen some really big YouTube channels talking about the USDA asking people, churches, nonprofits, schools, communities to register their garden. And I'm also seeing everybody freak out guys let's start from the beginning the usda has had those programs in place before trump was president okay everybody if you've seen any of my videos you must know how i feel about government interference in the food system Right now, I am working to help secure laws that ensure that my community can grow and eat, process, and drink anything that they want without federal oversight. Because I think that is our right, is our right, our God-given constitutional right our God-given constitutional right for freedom for food. Okay, so let me get out there and make, make, let me make that point very clear before I say what I'm fixing to say. And all of you start telling me that I need to be careful. I also work with the USDA, NRCS, in a three-year scholarship. I actually came into that scholarship under a nonprofit and the and the scholarship will last for three years on soil health no-till organic regenerative market gardening okay so they come and do soil samples the nonprofit does but this Monday coming we have one of the USDA NRCS specialists coming to tour Starkey Farmstead to see our garden to look at the nutritional value of our vegetables that we're growing, to discuss our sustainable loop systems with us. It is an honor and a privilege to have this gentleman coming because it means that we are doing something correct here at Starkey Farmstead that the world needs to see, okay? Now they asked permission, hey, can so-and-so, and I will video it and I'll do more information on it when Monday comes, tour your form a month ago and I'm like absolutely absolutely because I want to train people to do this and I know that if I had the backing of my local USDA NRCS of my regional USDA NRCS workers they're human like you and I not every government facility not every government entity is out to eat the average American. We have got to stop being afraid of our shadows. And here's a really good saying I think everybody needs to take to heart. You keep your friends close and your enemies closer, right? We've been told that our whole lives. I take every class available to me that I am asked or sent information on every class. Why? Because I want to hear what the opposite side has to say. I am not the kind of person that sits in my box, in my bubble, and will only listen to people that parrot what I believe. Why? Because I want to know what they're thinking on the other side of the river. If I know how they think, if I know what they're thinking about, what they're pushing through in policy, if I can throw my hand up and edge be educated and say whoa that policy goes against the constitution that policy is not for the people then i can slow it down but if i sit in my bubble and refuse to speak to anybody that from the usda and NRC, nrcs that says hey can we come tour your form but i'm like no mm -mm, mm -mm, oh my god you can't see my garden i'm on youtube i'm on youtube you guys are watching right now how many of you have Facebook accounts, YouTube accounts, TikTok? What are the others? I don't even, Snapchat, 
uh, Instagram. You take pictures and you put your pictures of your garden up. Your your own Facebook chat groups. You're in Rebel Canning groups. You're in um, raised garden bed groups. You're in no-till groups. Your own line in your own name talking about your what? Your garden taking pictures of what you're doing with your food. Guys, if the government is that evil that their plan is to convince every community garden in America to come sign up so we can steal your food. All I'm saying is they come in directly to my house. Even if I didn't work with the USDA NRCS, even if I didn't take the classes, even if I hadn't sat through FSMA, which Food Safety Moder Moderization Act. I told you guys, I hated it. I thought it was a joke. I thought it was against the people. But now I know. Do you know what FISMA is? Do you know what's coming down the pipeline? That's what I'm saying. You have to get out there and you have to be able to think for yourself. But to fear monger people into believing just because they want you to register your garden. I'm not registering my garden, but I'm on YouTube. I'm on YouTube. I put out a lot of videos on what? My flipping garden. They don't need me to register. And guys, this is it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it off because I have to get ready for children's church. Let me tell you something. When they decide, if they decide that they wanna come and take our food from us, us American citizens, they, are not worried about registrations. They're gonna come door to door, house to house, town to town, okay? They're gonna have your bank record. So if you've ever bought feed for your animals with your debit, with your credit card, with a check, on credit there where they have a notice saying that you owe them so much money at the feed and seed store, all of that, all, they will get all that information and they will come knock on your door and they will say, you have been buying cow feed now for six years. So where is the cows? Where is the meat? Where is it? If they are so diabolical that they want to know where every garden in America is so that they can come and steal the food, then it will never slow them down whether you register or you do not. They will get online they will pull from the cloud they will know exactly who has been growing food for so many years who cans they can track your pur purchases there's no way around it anymore guys your vote is important so all i'm gonna say is if you're that worried about the government you had better start listening to people from the opposing side truly listening to them if you're only listening to people that have exactly the same opinion as you, then you are very, very misinformed. And you are very, very naive. And if I upset you, I hope that I did, because I hope it wakes you up just a little bit. You had better learn to negotiate. I don't even know if negotiate is the right word. You had really better learn to communicate and listen to other people without getting offended. You know, the Bible tells us not to be offended. So if you keep getting a spirit of offense on you, you need to speak to God about that because that's demonic in itself. And I mean that. That's why we have such a spirit of offense across this country. Everybody, if somebody doesn't agree with you, you block them, you unsubscribe to them, you leave a nasty things on their Facebook pages, their YouTube channels, you speak out against them. And it's on topics that are really worldly topics. Like whether or not you know till or not, whether or not you're organic or not. I mean, people really get upset when I talk about the fact that I don't need fertilizer, like commercialized fertilizer. Like for some reason that upsets people because my opinion is different, all right? Though we might agree on everything else, we'll never know. We would never know because you got so offended about something that I said. So I hope that if you did get offended, that you take the time to rewind this video and listen what I'm telling you. If the fear is that bad of your government, get out there and vote. 
Better yet, get out there and run for office. Seriously, seriously. Get out there, get involved in the local school system and sit watch on these insane teachers and the stuff they're teaching these kids. Better yet, become a homeschool. Offer to teach people's children. Like do something to change what's happening, okay? You cannot live in fear. God did not give you a spirit of fear, okay? He did not. He did not, guys. He did not. So my prayer for you today is that you will learn to listen. Blessed are the ears that hear. Blessed are the eyes that see. Don't jump at shadows. There are real things in the dark to be afraid of. Real things. And I have a feeling that it's coming much faster. And people are just blowing smoke. You don't have to be afraid of everybody. In fact, it's probably best you be on speaking terms with the people in power around you. And that's what Starkey Formstead intends to do. I speak to my sheriff, speak to my 4-H advisor in my parish. I talk to the schools. I talk to the businesses. I'm nice to the cops. I'm not brown nosing. Those people one day may, I may need them to be my ally is all I'm saying. Just because someone is a USDA NRCS employee does not make them evil. It does not make them terrible. A lot of them are in those positions because they, honest to God, want people to eat better. Now, the ones up top, the elite, we always have problems with those. Look at the WEF. There's where your problem is. Look at whoever is puppeting behind Biden. There is your problem. Average people are not your problem. And we as Americans need to come together and understand that. Okay? You might be Republican. You might be Democrat. You might be black. You might be white. You might be man. You might be woman. You might be old. You might be young. But we are all Americans. Okay? God bless you. Have a blessed day. It's time for me to go get my babies and get them on that church bus. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share our videos.